So let's talk about these different symbols. The first one we're going to start, or talk about is the start end symbol. Now, if you can't tell, it is what we call a rounded rectangle. If you recall back in Autodesk, we actually defined this shape, or at least Autodesk defined it. It called it just a slot. This shape right here. We go ahead and draw it. We draw ourselves a little semicircle, two horizontal lines coming out of it, and draw another semicircle on the other side. And that's what the start end shape looks like. This shape is required to start and end the flowchart. The next part of the flowchart we'll define is the process. A process is just a rectangle. So we can go ahead and sketch it for ourselves. It's just a simple rectangle, pretty easy. Processes and flowcharts are essentially just actions. You can think of them as verbs. An example of a process Turn the motor on. Turn a light off. Or protrude sound or speak. If you look back up here, the next one we're going to talk about are inputs and outputs. Inputs and outputs, the shape you use for them are uh, parallelograms. So to draw a parallelogram, just draw yourself two parallel lines next to each other. And then connect them with horizontal lines. A parallelogram indicates the operation or activity. Or I should say an input or an output, not a parallelogram. Uh, indicates the operation or activity. An example of an input or an output would be something like watch for a switch to be pushed or a check value of the sensor. In other words, reading the uh, sensor value. Or begin a timer. Now, in the beginning, you're going to think of outputs and processes as the same thing. Hopefully, the examples we'll sketch in a moment will help make it clear what the difference between the two are. For example, if you look up here, you'll notice there aren't even any processes in this flowchart. I'm sorry, there's no inputs or outputs. They're all processes. But hopefully, as we draw some examples, it'll become a little clear. Until then, it might seem a little confusing. Just bear with me. Hopefully, I don't need to spend any time on arrows. And we're not going to talk about displays today. But let's go ahead and talk about a decision. The decisions in flowcharts are based on Boolean logic, yes or no, on or off. Uh, the shape we use is a rhombus, or if you play with a deck of cards, it's just a regular deck of 52 cards. You might call them diamonds. So we just draw ourselves a little rhombus underneath it. Doesn't have to be a perfect, just get the idea. Um, it's either yes or no, on or, out, on or off, true or false. We call this Boolean logic. We'll talk about that more in detail in our conditional statements lesson later in the week. Either yes or no. Examples, of course, are is the button pushed? It's either pushed or it's not. Is the number bigger than 10? So if I said 7, you would say no. If I said 11, you would say yes. Pretty simple, right? All right, I have to go to the next page. I will let you be the judge. 
of whether or not you need to.